Hello, my name is Raftum, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are, I think, we are on the last part of our little uh, mission here to figure out who actually killed uh, Ruth Bellamy, the actress who plays Halcyon Helen. Um, I finally remembered her name. It's Ruth Bellamy. Hello, guys. Let's do this and then... Get rid of these guys. And then get rid of him. And uh, then we're good. Reload. Oh, you may have just wanted to be my friend, but I wanted to be your executioner. That's all there is to it. Just wanted to be the executioner. Alright, but well, anyways, we're heading down to the place that the guy who uh, hired us... Um has been hiding out in in order to find out who is supposedly trying to kill him I'm not sure I believe that's actually true um, I think that one, it, it, there's one of two possibilities either he's faking it trying to I, I don't know why he, he would be uh, I honestly don't know why I feel like he's the one that actually killed Halcyon is it, well, Halcyon Helen in his mind but Ruth Bellamy um Unless she found something out about him that he didn't want anybody to know about. Um, and so he's trying to cover it up by having her be killed. But at the same time, it could very well be that Ruth Bellamy isn't actually dead. And she's just trying to, I don't know, maybe stop playing Halcyon Helen because she's just tired of it. Because, you know, that would make sense to me. Um, repair all equipped. And we're going to, how do we break this down? Q. Q, yes. Q, yes. I don't think I need the, dis the disguise there. Um, helmet. 101, as opposed to 113. Harvati's helmet is 58. 80. There we go. That's a little better. Um, inventory. Break that down. Still hanging on to that costume, just in case. I don't think oh, I need it. It's actually kind of cheerful. Almost makes you forget they're probably hiding a terrible secret in there. Oh, it looks like it's just a building I can walk into. It's not like a instance kind of thing. It is an instance kind of thing. So why is it over there? Um. Ow. Ow. There we go, I got you. Oh, Parvati! Or El- uh, actually it was Ellie that went down. Ow. Um... I don't think we have time for that, but... You know, whatever. Uh, so we need to get in here. But we are definitely going to be in this... Till the end. So where am I going? Into here? Security breach, okay. So we go in here. So uh, got some uh, kind of creepy music going on here. Open. There's blood all over the place. Oh. Okay. Wait, it is Halcyon Helen. Hi, Ruth. It's you. I had a feeling you'd catch up to me sooner or later, Inspector. I was just hoping you'd find me standing over the administrator's corpse. What in law's name? Halcyon Helen. How are you still alive? Oh, is that Ludovico I hear? Perfect. I'm so glad he's still in the building. Would you mind letting him know I'm about to blow his whole operation 
to Flinders? Huh. I kind of did. It was either it, it either had to be her or it had to be Ludovico. Uh, no, that's a fair question. You want to explain how you're still alive? Could we take a step back and not blow up any buildings while I'm still in them? That's going to depend on whether or not you're on my side. Well, Don't listen to her. How can you possibly trust the word of someone who lacks the decency to stay dead? You were never my target, Inspector. I have no intention of killing you unless you stand in my way. Well, I need to know what's going on. I'm not going anywhere until I get an explanation. I'm not looking for a fight. I just want to know what's going on. Brace yourself, Inspector. You're about to learn the biggest secret in the vaporwave industry. Okay. Halcyon Helen was never one person. I shared this role with my twin sister, Belinda. That must have been her sister in the ballroom. Oh! I can't imagine what she's going through right now. A twin? The only thing worse than being an only child has got to be having a perfect sibling. Can you imagine the parents? Yeah. Linda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. And certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Faint shock. Administrator Ludovico? A murderer and a coward? Why? I never. What plan are you talking about? You use me to pen this murder on someone else. I don't like being used, Lou. That one. Call me a murderer all you like, Inspector. But I'm no coward. I bloodied my hands to save this colony. I do Did you? Again. No, they're not. They belong to the highest order of life form, capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. No! Have you not seen what they do to people? In their host, a bliss so pure, so profound as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy back to Halcyon. I want this colony to smile again. They're not symbiotes. I've seen the way they infected people. I've seen the way the infected behave, yeah. A host only turns violent if they're carrying too many symbiotes, or if they see you as a threat. In its natural state, the relationship between symbiote and host is perfectly harmless. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. I couldn't let anyone destroy this colony's only chance at real happiness. But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. That was you in the labs. You killed Dr. Blossom. Dr. Blossom. She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded scientist. I would agree with that. With human lives in the name of scientific advancement. I do agree with that. Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. Call it murder? I call it disarming my enemy. Ah. I know you killed the Ranger's mascot. The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I barely knew the fellow. Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there just watching us with those cold, dead eyes. I'm pretty sure he wasn't working for the administrator. <laughs> I found him rummaging that through your things. Me at all. He was on Ludovico's side, just like the others. Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keen, that flack wit of a mascot. They were standing between me and Ludovico, so I did what I had to do. I went through them. You killed Constable Keane? She was on your side. She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about 
about Melinda, I asked for her help, but she turned me down. She was honor-bound to report me to Ludovico. Maria had a duty to her company, and I had a duty to Belinda. We both did what we had to. But in the end, I was the faster shot. I've heard enough. You know what you need to do. Help me avenge Belinda. Help me put a stop to this. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with Helen and you destroy Halcyon's only chance at real happiness. Think of the future. No! <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to throw in with either one of them. Halcyon did some really evil things, but Ludovico's idea of happiness is not okay. Let's do this. Okay, well, if you're going to be that way. I'm helping you, Helen, but once we get out of here, I would expect answers. It's a deal. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> the last thing this colony needs is more grinning idiots. I, I agree with we that. It's not okay. To get out of here. Uh-uh, not so fast. I've sealed the bulkhead doors. You're staying right where you are. I'm am I? sorry to do this to you, Inspector. Truly, I am. If it's any consolation, Helen has brought some remarkably powerful explosives. Your death should be instantaneous. Goodbye, Inspector. Helen, we won't meet again. Damn it. He sealed us in, but I think I know another way out. Follow me and stay close. Okay. Let's move. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. I got a little... You know, I'll wait. I'll wait until after. Come on. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Fire. Thanks. Going, going, going. I don't think I really have to hurry, but... Oh, ah, huh. I can't hear you! I don't know what you're saying. Come on, ladies. Nice work, Inspector. Thanks. We may have put a stop to Ludovico's operations, but he's still at large. He's probably gone into hiding, so we're going to root him out. I'm helping you because Ludovico has to be stopped. You and I are not friends. Huh. Hold on, I have questions. In private, back at the pet house. Also, I rather like the ambiance there. See you soon, Inspector. <clears throat> I don't like this. Let's take me outside. Okay, well, I need to level up. And we're going to go with... Do we have... Well, Sneak is almost there. So we'll do sneak. What else do we have? We'll do inspiration. Except perks. Um, reduce the detection radius of enemies when you have no companions in your party. Any subsequent attack mode on the same... Any subsequent attack made on the same target while in TTD deals increased damage. This effect is cumulative. Leaving TTD resets the damage increase. Is there a... Your tactical time dilation meter recharges much faster. Is there a increase to tactical time dilation? While using tactical time dilation, you deal increased weak spot damage. Kill enemy reduces the remaining cooldowns. Gain some tactical time dilation meter when you kill an enemy. I like that one. I wonder I wanna know if that works while I'm killing enemies. 
Because if it does, that makes it well worth it. Go to the penthouse. Okay. I'm still not sure how I feel about this, but... Hello. It's strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. She's conspicuous by her absence. I'm... Yeah, Helen, people die. It's what they do. Can we get to the point? No, <laughs> I'm sorry this must be difficult for you. I appreciate the sympathy, Inspector. Thank you. I'll appreciate your help even more. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not going to sit idly by. If he can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, he'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Look at this. The prototype had the opposite effect, and actually made you immune to the parasites. Ooh! So your immune system could destroy the parasites before the larval stage. Precisely. I see we're in your wheelhouse, Inspector. Or do you prefer doctor? We're going to need two <laughs> ingredients. Either one. A sample of essence of Sprat Recruit and one Cedric. intact pod of parasite eggs. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat essence. As for the pod, I'd check the wilderness reserve if I were you. Oh, you mean Sprat <laughs> nucleans? They're commonly used in medical experiments. I should be able to synthesize an effective anti-parasitic. Um, You're a scientist and an inspector? You really are full of surprises. I try! I borrowed you a know. centrifuge from the research lab. Used the ingredients to synthesize an anti-parasitic. Easy enough. I'm glad I could count on your expertise. Once you're finished, I'm glad my science side have to do all this. <laughs> we'll hijack the control system and disperse the cure into the atmosphere. That should kill off most of the parasites. Good. Not so fast. Let me borrow your needler. Are you worried I'm going to shoot you in the back? Uh, I'm already doing all the work. I deserve to feel like an aether wave here. <laughs> you're right. You do deserve the spotlight. Here. You take good care of my needler. And it'll take good care of you. Sweet. Thanks. There is one other thing. While you're at Piraeus Spaceport, have a word with Cedric Kincannon. I know Cedric. There's nothing he wants more than a chance to eliminate Ludovico. We could use him on our side. Best of luck, Inspector. I'm counting on you. Uh, you killed innocent people? Did you really think I'd be okay with that? I like your style of murdering anybody you want in the name of revenge. I'm not accustomed to talking about Belinda, but I'm also not accustomed to the kind of sympathy you showed me earlier. So I'll make an exception for you. Belinda and I shared the role of Helen, but she was also the only person who knew the real me. To the rest of the colony, I'm Halcyon Helen, but to my sister, I'm... I was just Ruth. I could be myself around Belinda, and she could be herself around me. She was my only sister, but she was also my only friend. People know you're Ruth Bellamy. Was it hard for Belinda to keep herself keep herself secret? No, Belinda enjoyed the secrecy. She could slip into the role of Halcy on Helen, attend social events on my behalf perform a few stunts, deliver a few lines. And then, when she grew tired of all the people and all the attention, all she had to do was slip out of the role and be my sister again. She was the secret twin. She had a comfortable life in the shadows, an easier life. I made sure of that. An easier life in Byzantium while the rest of the colony starves to death. We'll do what that I one. Want is my sister back, but I'll settle for killing Ludovico. Nobody else knew you had Parents, a twin sister. Naturally, an agent, a couple of directors. None of them had any reason to reveal the truth. To them, Helen was a brand, 
Revealing our secret meant damaging that brand. Damaging that brand meant losing money. Nobody in this colony wants to lose money. Belinda and I saw Helen as... an act of theatric sleight of hand. We enjoyed the deception, the challenge. We wanted to see how far we could go. Makes sense. I can imagine you thought it'd end this way. No. Frankly, I imagined we'd retire and skip to a cozy little resort colony a few stars away. One day, some enterprising fan would track us down for a documentary about the two Helens. She well. me in that ballroom. Belinda died because I was careless. Never mind that. If you've got something else to ask me, now's the time. That's all I'm I wanted to know. I satisfy your curiosity. That one. Yes, Inspector. I did. Leora Blossom and Maria Keane were on Ludovico's side. They chose to stand between me and my sister's killer. I had to cross them off. Not talking about them. Once again, you're forgetting about the mascot. He was clearly a spy for Ludovico. He was never far from Belinda or from me. We could hardly take a step outside our hotel without spotting that giant red mask somewhere in the periphery. It's like he was stalking us, watching our every move. If we took notice of him, he hurried away. He sounds like a fan, not a spy. Does it make any sense? If he was a fan, why did he run away every time I looked at him? Maybe you should have asked him instead of shooting him. He was a fan, Helen, and he was working for Bertie. The guy wore a giant red ball on his head. He obviously had no social skills. He was working for Bertie? Bertie Holcomb? But that doesn't... I mean, why was he always... Oh, dear. I may have made an accidental, inadvertent, tiny miscalculation. Really? You made a terrible yes, mistake. I have made a terrible mistake. I'll find his closest living relative and send them an autographed copy of Terror on Monarch or something. That should smooth things over. <laughs> what? Yes, this is mine. I'd kept notes on everything I suspected. Everything I've discovered. It's all here. All in code. Belinda and I... We had a secret way of communicating. Words <sighs> and phrases that had a special meaning to us. Numbers and dates that were only important to the two of us. Only two people in the universe knew that language. I'm sorry. Thank you, Hawthorne. Keep Not Hawthorne. Pad. All it's going to do is remind me of things I could never say to Belinda. Um, I want to hear the whole story. It's a long what story, happened. Inspector. I've got time. It was supposed to be just another marketing job. Rizzo's wanted Halcyon Helen to be the face of Spectrum Brown. Some hideous concoction served with a dead parasite. All we had to do was spend a few weeks on Eridanos. Shake some hands, sign a few autographs, drink a bottle of Spectrum Brown in front of a camera, and... Try to smile. Belinda didn't want to go. But I wanted a change of scenery. In any case, we couldn't possibly say no. Not exactly reading endorsement for, of Spectrum Brown. Why didn't Belinda want to go? You make it sound like you didn't have a choice. Belinda and I are Halcyon Helen. Halcyon Helen is a creative property owned by whatever company sponsors our latest picture. Rizzo's finance the majority of Terror on Monarch, which means they currently own 51% of Halcyon Helen. We were required by law to take the job. Well, oh, that sucks. And here I was hoping one thing in this colony wasn't bought and paid for. <laughs> Beware of hope. It's a dangerous emotion and will disappoint you in the end. Belinda and I arrived on Eridanos and played our usual game of trading places. We were practically flawless. Even Ludovico didn't know about us. Belinda was unhappy for the first few days. But then she met Bertie Holcomb. Bertie treated her like a human being and not just an Aether Wave icon. They were just about perfect. 
Except for his temper problem, I found the ruined picnic. Bertie has a dreadful temper. I was worried about Belinda for a while, but she told me he'd never lay a finger on her, and I took her at her word. Bertie wasn't the person I should have kept an eye on. It was Ludovico. I had a feeling Ludovico was hiding something. Belinda stayed busy socializing with the celebrities around the complex. That gave me some time to do a little digging. Uh, you tipped your hand. Ludovico was obviously on to you, so you made your way to the orchards and left me my first clue. The Purpleberry Orchards was the heart of Ludovico's operations. I knew I'd find some answers in the R&D lab. I saw everything. The test subjects, the parasites. Spectrum Brown was never safe to drink. Those harmless dead parasites at the bottom of every bottle? They were just dormant. They would have sold out in a month. This colony loves novelty. They'll eat up any new product we toss their way. A new cereal, a new Spectrum flavor. Ludovico knows that. From Emerald Vale to Byzantium. A parasite in every brain and a grin on every face. Every last one of us trapped behind a mask of joy. That's what Ludovico wants. I agree that he needs to be stopped. Ludovico realized what you were up to. He thought you'd expose his plans. That doesn't sound so bad. I won't let that I happen. I can't do this without your help. <laughs> I won't I let that doing happen. I this on my own once. And look what happened. I was careless. I was risking Belinda's life every step of the way, and I never even realized. Yeah. Don't blame yourself. I wish it were that easy. Still, thank you. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? No, I think we're good. Yeah, don't blame yourself because some dude got it in his head that we're going to go with five here, that uh, it was a good idea to kill his one of his most profitable things. Kind of dumb, if you ask me. All right, there's that. I'm getting a lot of levels in, the, in this expansion here, um, which is cool. Okay, first things first. Region map. We're going to go here. Except. And we're taking those two. Egg pot. Okay. Let's go and talk. Whoa! 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 What happened? What happened to these people? Okay. Why are all these people infected now? Uh, oh, there it is. I knew there was another dead body. You! Do, 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 do. Oh! That's not what this gun normally does. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, hi. Well, how'd you get in here alive? You are alive, yeah? Yes, I'm alive. No way. Cedric! Cedric! You made it. Well done. I'm Thank afraid you. you may find the spaceport is, at the moment, less hospitable than usual. My apologies. Regardless, you must have some purpose here. Do tell. Ludovico's behind everything. Will you help me take him down? Oh, my. 
You mean Lou was up to no good this whole time? It gets worse. He wants to infect all of the colony with slugs. Can you be smug later? Please, this is urgent. I may hold you to that. But tell me, why should I help you, Inspector? Ludovico wants to infect the entire colony with slugs. This is big. I'm apparently... I'm appealing to your better nature here. You're joking. Architect's balls because I'm the sprat... <laughs> <laughs> sprat, sprat, frickin' inspector, damn it! When you put it like that, I would be heartless to say no. You can expect slug support. I'll arrange for my agents to meet you at the distillation station. Okay, good. Um, tell them to bring their best weapons and any personal issues they'd like to work out through violence. I'll do that. I think one of our checkpoint guards is going through a divorce. Ooh. As thrilled as I am to assist you in taking down Lou, we have barricaded ourselves in here for a reason. I imagine you have a plan for getting out of the spaceport safely? Yeah. I'm going to disperse an anti-parasitic. It's almost ready. Are you really? Inspector, you are a marvel. Excellent work. I'll admit, I'm awfully fond of my agents. To see them restored will be a great weight off my soul. Thank you. Uh, I need essence of sprat for that. Incidentally enough, Slut can supply you with essence of sprat. Good. Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. You remember her? There's a package on the desk in her office. You'll find the essence of sprat you need in there. Sweet. Cool. Thanks. You're quite welcome. Now then, is there anything else I can do for you while you're here? Nope. Gotta go. Thanks. Arr. Essence of Sprat. Yes, which land Essence of Sprat comes from? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. I, I, I don't want to guess. Okay, time for the egg pod. I don't know what the egg pod is, but we're going to get it. All right. What? How do I get up there? Well, that's down. Down is not where I need to go. Well, now I can open these things. Uh, I don't... Pentatent Disciple? Hello. Okay. What's in here? Nothing really of interest. Is it here? No, that's down too. How do I go up? Oh, hello! I don't want you to make me smile. You guys are covered in these things. Oh, what is in here? Use terminal. Open last entry. Okay. Access. Yes, access. Isolate passcode. Memorize the passcode. Okay. I don't know what the passcode is for, but I have it memorized now. I'm still unsure of where exactly I need to go. I won't tell. There we go. All right, here we go. What do we got? Painted host. 
Got him. Don't stand in my way. And I need this. Parasite egg. Oh, where'd he go? Ow! Jeez. You're a biggin. Hey, don't kill Ellie. Not okay with you doing that. Whole bunch of stuff there. Nothing there. That's right, just keep wailing away. Oh, reloading! Ow! That hurt a lot. Fire, fire, there we go. Gotcha. Oh, that was bad. Take that, take those. What else have we got here? Don't stand in my way while I'm shooting. There we go. Yeah. That's the idea, to not, not get any battle scars. That's all that was in here. There wasn't a way out this way. That kind of sucks. But I eliminated some of the hosts, it looks like. Hosts that probably wouldn't be affected by the, uh, the thing. Need to get outside. That's all I need is just to get outside. There we go. Another candid host. Can I get out now? Is that something I can do? Because I really want to get out. Okay. Uh-oh. I hear... Baddies. Are they attacking people? Is that what's going on here? Oh, they have level ups. I think I've picked all the ones that I really liked, so we're just gonna go with whatever. That. Okay. Oh, Mantasaurs. That's awesome. All right, but we're gonna end this one here because I am out of time for this recording, so uh, we'll get back to this very soon. I'm hoping we're almost, I know, well, not I'm hoping we're almost done. I know we're almost done with this, and we're gonna finish this up probably in the next recording. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring that bell. Because when you ring that bell, you get notifications for every time I post new videos as I do. 
daily. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep your head up and keep moving forward. This is Rafnum signing off. Bye-bye!